Ant wrong. More breadsticks. No, bro. His left. performance is horrible. Look at this, y'all. This is y my unlimited basket. They need their unlimited baskets. I'm sorry, sir. It's one for two. But that's a limit. We're here to shut you down. Y'all know what time it is, man. Wake up, Burberry. Y'all know who this is. This is your boy. Listen, man, I done heard some amazing news. They finally got rid of this bullshit. Yeah! Woo! I gotta pull out the Ric Flair for this one. Yeah. Woo! 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 Silent Woo! and profile. This was the most atrocious adaption of my favorite game of all time. I ought to come down to Netflix studio, me and Frida, whoever wrote this script, I'm gonna beat you oh, so I'm bad, yo mama gonna no she, shit. she gonna be mad that she spit you up. That's, that, that's, that's what we do. Cause this was horrible. And thank God Netflix, you finally got rid of this damn show. So I just wanna applaud y'all, and man, I love y'all to death, cause that was some bullshit. Before we review this horrific show's cancellation, I want y'all to do one thing. Y'all know what y'all do. Hit that subscribe button. Share this out, man. You know, help me get to that algorithm. I appreciate all y'all. So the gang, man, we almost at that mountain top, man. But let's get straight to the It my motherfucking ass. You hear what the fuck I said? Entertainment news, why Netflix canceling the Resident Evil series should come as a shocker to no one. Twisted Metal's live action series is a wrap and a message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Let's drop it. Now, this, this was on DOA. I'm not even gonna lie, y'all. This was on DOA for five reasons. We're gonna talk about those five reasons after they talk about this, but for five reasons, this was on Dead on Arrival. I mean, the disrespect that they display with the writing, they ought to be buried alive somewhere. I swear to God, this was some bull shit, right? But let the, I'm going to let them talk. Y'all stay tuned for my analysis afterwards. Yeah, the fix. Yeah, y'all need to fix Presented that. Presented by Nitsa. We don't care about you, Nitsa. Now coming as a complete shock to absolutely no one, Netflix has canceled its take on the resident. That, now, even that, my man that, that Silence right Lance there. Riddick couldn't she save the series the from getting back after show. one season. While well, the Capcom lie. Survivor Horror Show debuted in the contrived top 10 Netflix ranking, the series fell off quicker than Ethan Winter's hand. Oh, oh dear. Now, the series follows two timelines, one being the new Raccoon City storyline with Albert Resker and his two daughters, and 14 years later, when the T-Virus turns the Earth into some sort of a Mad Max with zombies type sand. Uh, now that the too. Netflix series, in my opinion, suffered from poor dialogue, weird casting, and a lack of framing each character to make you actually care about their development. Through right, so you already said they fell with poor acting, the writing was horrible. I absolutely agree. They should they had no business, no business taking out the characters that we appreciate, that we grew to love over the years, and swapping them with these. Netflix watered down one of these. The main character, nobody gave a damn about her. Luckily, she was kind of sexy though. But besides that, she was annoying as fuck. She was bull. She was she was booty, right? You gonna swap her for Claire? How dare y'all? Who whose great idea was that to swap this bra for Claire? But I'm gonna be honest, y'all. This what it is. See, we in this woke era, y'all, and I'm just gonna be honest, bro. A lot of these shows be taking hits to try to appease demographics, right? Mind you, I'm black. Let's just keep it real. I'm black, right? I love seeing black people on screen. But you're not going to swap out already great characters for quote-unquote people of color 
And it's like, we don't give a flying fuck about that, bro. But let's continue, bro. Throughout the storyline, now the only saving grace was in fact Lance Riddick's performance, which sadly wasn't enough to save the series from cancellation. And wrong. We're in a binge watch. And wrong. More breadsticks. Look no, bro. His left. performance is horrible. Look at this, y'all. This is job. my unlimited basket. They need their unlimited baskets. I'm sorry, sir. It's one for two. But that's a limit. For you, Wesker, but for Now that was Wesker. horrible. No, nobody knows Wesker to be this family man complaining about damn honey buns. I mean, uh, cheese sticks. That was so horrible. That's like taking a live action show of Dragon Ball Z and you take Vegeta, and instead of Vegeta being this proud, blunt, straight to the point prince from a dying from a dead planet, you make this dude walking around twerking and he got beads in his hair and he like talking with a high pitched voice. <laughs> I'm begging you, please. Do you think people is gonna have a problem with that? And no more breadsticks for you. Now the show was stale and honestly didn't do a great job of adapting the source material. The Netflix series didn't follow any storyline from the video games, opting to tell an original story based on Wesker's daughters created specifically Ain't for the series. Ain't that what I said, y'all. Now, while the 2010 movie Resident said, Evil Afterlife was a bit painful to watch, it a was bit? a more accurate a representation of the Boy. RE franchise as it had Chris and Claire Redfield oh, taking a more video no, game accurate this was wrestler. a way. The Resident while I don't mind Lance this, Riddick's that was a way better Wesker, show. I find it quite odd the show movie. made him a family guy. Now, we saw a softer side of Wesker, which is honestly something I never thought I'd ever say, unless we listen, are, of course, listen, talking about the soft- Listen, mind you, I, ne I this is my first time watching this. Mind you, I never, I promise you, I did not watch this before I reacted. I just saw what it was, and I jumped straight on. And he said exactly what I'm saying. Y'all fucked up Wesker, made him some weird ass, not weird, but some nice guy. Y'all took out the characters that we like. It was just painful to watch, like he said, bro. Like he said, it was, man. In trails of Wesker after Chris took him out in RE5. Right. Look at that. That's what we want to see. That's exactly where the Netflix series should end up, in the fiery pits of the streaming service. I'm sorry, I'm just telling it like it is right now, but I want to know what your thoughts are on Netflix's Resident Evil series. Did you like it? I'm going to tell it? you. What do you think they got I'm right? I'm going to tell you. Now, honestly, I got to admit this. The zombies and some of the iconic infected creatures were done pretty well. Now, let me know what you think down below. No, it was done. Right now. All right. All right, y'all. So, y'all already had to say on that. And for the most part, I absolutely agree with his breakdown, his analysis. Now, Black Nigga, he going to give y'all five ways that this show failed in five ways that they couldn't save this show. Cause I really feel like if certain things were done correctly, this show would have been great, right? So let's start with number one. Why did y'all change the way Wesker was? That is my biggest problem with the show. Wesker was somebody that you just feared when you looked at him. From the very beginning, you saw them eyes, you saw that slick back hair. He kind of reminded you of Negan, right? But a blind Negan that wasn't as charming. That's all he was. He was a Negan that wasn't charming. He was a Negan that was like, look, with power, that just beat the fuck out of you, right? They swapped him for a brother. Okay, I'm not mad at that. You want to swap him for a brother? Let's go. Bring the brother out. Tyrone! What's up, Tyrone? We need you. All right. Now we got the brother. But why did you change the way he was, though? Nobody cared to see him as a damn family man. I really did. It was very cringy. Number two. Number two. Why y'all just didn't expand from the village storyline? The village had an amazing storyline. They all, honestly, they could have did some other shit with the Resident Evil Village storyline, for instance. For instance, on Resident Evil Village, they could have made where the Megamacite spores, the, the mold that mutate everybody, why not make the mutation has spread, you know, some one of the, uh, 
the uh, residents of the castle, whether it was uh, Big Booty D, you know what I'm saying? We would love to see her again. Somebody escaped, and the mold spread to somebody else, and then it could have been came to America, and then, you know, uh, uh, it, turned, it hit a community, and some around those lines, bro. They could have really did something with that, but no, they tried to do some black ass new shit, and it just was not cool, bro. Number three, this another one. Why did y'all not keep the same heroes we know and love, like Claire? Like Neon, like Dottie ain't along. What is wrong with y'all? Like they dropped the ball with that, bro. Y'all really dropped the ball with that, bro. We miss. We would have loved to see Dottie ain't along with yourself, Claire Q Cell. You feel me? But y'all really dropped the ball. Y'all tried to make these new people, and they was not like them, bro. Number four, bro. Nobody cared about the villains. Bro. Nobody. Evelyn Marcus, she was terrible. Bro, come on now, dawg. Come on, man. You know, now she's CEO of Umbrella. It was not believable, bro. Nobody believed that. Nobody feared that. Nobody was like, oh my god, this terrible Umbrella. We was just like, what? Number five. This is one that um, I had to disagree with uh, the, the brother who did the breakdown. Number five is that I felt like the zombies interactions, they should have made it more suspenseful. The thing that made Resident Evil 2 a great game was because we saw the right direct aftermath of the outbreak. So we were still seeing like the effects of what just happened. That gave it a very eerie feel. Walking through that police station, you still hearing screams in the background, people not knowing what's going on. Bro, they dropped the ball. Now we in this Mad Max kind of apocalypse. It was like. You know, the broad, she she fighting like a ninja, and it was like, nah, bro, they should have made it where, you know, her life was like in jeopardy. It was, but it was like, at the end of the day, she had been surviving for so many years. Shit, she was strong. I, now, when I, at one point, did I feel like her life was like just in jeopardy. She was like always prevailing. It was like, nah, they should have made something bad happen or so. That's my take on the situation. I'm really happy that they did, got rid of that shit. And that's another thing. It was like top 10. And I'm like, that's how you know Resident Evil be rigging they point system. Because it was like top 10. And I'm like, bro, no. Nobody, nobody, um, Frida. Did, did you believe that it was top 10? Absolutely. Absolutely not. I should say. It was horrible. Thank God y'all got rid of it. And we ain't gonna lose no sleep over it. So y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. I would love to hear y'all take. Did y'all, you know, did y'all, was y'all enjoying the show? Was I being too harsh? Let me know in the comments. This is your boy, Persona Black Megan, man. I'm out. Peace. Bet I smell like reef on me when I'm walking out the door. Bet I keep the sleep on me now. I'm always kind of woke. Remind me what it is I owe you though, cause I don't even know. Reply me once with all the herbal essence. I want all the smoke. I gotta go, I gotta go.